didn't get what? <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> I didn't get, oh, it's so pretty, too. We got to get that. Yeah. Okay, here we go. What are you sitting in that seat over there? It won't do that? It won't do that, Mom. You need a camera. I don't, I... <laughs> you need a camera. So, all right, I'm sitting here with my mom, Miss <laughs> Evelyn Thomas, and uh, I know everybody doesn't really know. They don't fish. We're outside. We're outside. We're in sunny Florida outside, and everybody's listening. There's so many people around. It's not that many, but it's too many. <laughs> Lots of ears. Anyway, so we're sitting with the Evelyn Thomas right here. It's my mom. Uh, I love my mommy. Mommy love you too. I so love you. Mommy. Sugar baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, everybody asks me, what was it like growing up? with the Evelyn Thomas. So I figured I'd get my mom on here and then she could tell you what it was like growing up with me. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, Kim was always a good girl. Kim. Always. I haven't heard that name in a while. And, uh, well, that's her name. <laughs> in case you didn't know. Her name was Kimberly. <laughs> Michelle. Oh, she's gonna get my whole name. Thomas. <laughs> that's her name. <laughs> and, um, she was so cute, and uh, she um, born September. Don't tell my birthday. Okay, I won't. Okay. Then I tell her age. No. So I can't do that either. No. So I'm just gonna, gonna shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Kim was a lot of fun to be with. On the, I, I took her on the road with me because I didn't want Kim to grow up and not know who I was. I, I had experienced a lot of entertainers that had children and they would leave their children at home by the time they got home the kids didn't really know who they were and i was afraid of that so at one point in kim's life i just i had a lot of help with her i had my grandmother who would help me and she had a godmother mm -hmm. who would help me while i was on the road you played mahalia jackson 24 <laughs> 7. <laughs> and it was good for you yes <laughs> and uh, so i had a, i had a lot of help but there was one point where I was feeling sort of guilty, and I, I'm sure a lot of entertainers go through that. They feel guilty about leaving their kids at home so much. And uh, I figured, you know what? I'm traveling. Let me go get my child and take her with me. So I went and got her from her godmother's house. She was there at the time. And uh, decided just to take her on the road with me. And so Kim traveled from all over the United States to all over Europe. She was in London, she was in, she was in Germany, she went to France. She, she traveled everywhere with me until she got to the point where she got homesick herself. And she looked at me one day, she said, Mom, I, you know I love you. <laughs> I want to see nickels and dimes and dollars again. Because she's seen all this foreign this, money. This foreign money was huge. It was like the <laughs> dollar bills were like. They weren't dollar bills. Whatever they were. Pounds. Okay. Pounds. They were huge. And, and, the, and the more, <laughs> and the more, the more the money, the bigger the dollar bill. It was like somebody had to carry a, like a case, like an 8 by 10 case just to carry your money. It was ridiculous. And every time I had to pay something, it was I was confused. Well, Kim was uh, kind of locked in different languages, too, because in Germany, they were speaking German, and in France, they were speaking French, and in, in other places, they were just speaking different languages, and she's like... I don't get she, it. She couldn't get it, so mm -hmm. she had... It, but it was good for her to travel like that. She learned a lot, but she was very young, and she, she wanted to come home. Yeah. So I had to have enough faith to put my child on an airplane. I was losing my mind. With the stewardess. And uh, the stewardess <laughs> took good care of her. Yes, she and did. I had to send her back to the United States. And uh, who picked you up? Your godmother? I don't remember. I think it was I think it was it was JT. It JT, was my, my godfather. Your godfather picked mm -hmm. her up from the airport. And um, and I just had to keep traveling. So I would always make sure that I was home. Uh, at least two to three months 
out of a year. It was very hard for me. I was traveling like crazy. I had a number one hit all over the world and then had another hit here and another hit there. And it just, whew. The Not, entertainment business is very hard. People think it's a okay. lot of fun. It is a lot of fun, but you don't see the preparation that you have to go through to get to where you need to go. And the shows, I mean, the shows last for what? An hour, but you prepared for it for months. So it's, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And if you have to love it to stay in it. If you don't love it, you're not gonna stay in it. So you can forget that one. No. But um, we worked it out though, didn't we, Kim? We did. When yeah, I got older, did. I started going back on the road. And I went back a little bit. Yeah, and she did a little video with me. Did a video, yeah, yay. She just, it's a time capsule. She was always there. Yeah. High energy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we, we did. did. Yeah. And Kim was always a, she was a good girl. I, I mean, I have to say God bless me with a wonderful child. And I only had one child, and it's, it's Kim. And uh, he really blessed me with a, a, a beautiful, right now, a wonderful, beautiful woman. And <laughs> I'm very blessed and very happy to know the woman that she has become. And I'm very pleased by it. So. Yeah. This is my mommy! <laughs> <laughs> and she's big too. <laughs> <I'm> big. Yeah. <laughs> she's not that big. I'm bigger than her. <laughs> no, no, it's my mommy. I yeah. had so much fun on the road with my mom. The one pl the one thing I remember is the changing of the guards in London. Those are my favorite points. The burger shop around the corner. And then the Eiffel Tower with the with the um we had glazed duck. I remember that. You remember was, that? I remember that. I have very good memories. When I don't like to, duck. I had a glazed duck. Or was it a glazed chicken? It was really small. It, it must have duck. been a, it, was duck. it was duck. It was something, but it was good. And I didn't yeah. know no better, you know. Eating I still in the don't like duck. <laughs> <laughs> eating in the Apple Tower with going all around like this in the revolving restaurant. That was cool. That was cool. Um, the people, the autographs. Oh my gosh. And the people chasing my mom. <laughs> I, I was more surprised by it than she was because I'm like, they're chasing me they're for chasing what? <laughs> they're chasing her. They're chasing her. Sorry. We're outside. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. And then there were other, other kids there, like the producer's kids and a lot of different other kids that were there. Mm -hmm. um, so I wasn't alone, but I was, I was kind of the bully. And she got bullied. I did. But she had to learn how to but take up for herself because I just beat them up. That's all. She was terrible. <laughs> just beat them up. <laughs> she doesn't like, really what? mean that. She just tell them off and keep going. She didn't beat them up. Did you beat them up? I did beat them up. But you didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I beat them up. They left me alone. See, you never know what your kids are doing when you're not around them, so you have to be careful. They left me alone. Yeah. Yeah, they left me alone. So it was and You fun. are not to be bullied, huh? No. I don't like it. Don't. You can talk all you want. The moment you touch me, it's over. <laughs> That's how it was. So, but I had fun. And I was, I'm still proud of my mom. My mom was amazing. And, uh, yeah. How old were you when you were on the road with your mom? Bruce, hey. Hey, um, Bruce. <laughs> how old was I when you first got me, Mom? You were seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven years old. Seven. I was seven when we when we first went out. I stopped at sixteen because um, I got the scholarship and. Um, well, you had to. I mean, she when she was on the road, a lot of times I would get her tutors to mm -hmm. uh, do some things with her, so she could keep up with her schoolwork. But at one point, she had to go to school, and she had to stay at one spot and go to school so she could be stable. Mm -hmm. And I was concerned about her stability. So. Yeah, but when I went back, they skipped me a grade. Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> I skipped fifth grade and went from fourth to sixth. Mm -hmm. I remember that because yeah. I was on the road so much. Um, they just tested me when I got back. Well, you went to private schools, mm -hmm. so she, uh, it was good for you. Yeah. And then you went to public school. I did. When you got into high school. Yes. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I felt like that would be better for her because she needed to know the real world. Yeah, it, it scared yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> 
It was scary. Well, private schools are, are really good. They're when sheltered. When you get ready to go into the world, you need to know what's happening for real. Definitely. So That's where I got the most went to fights. a really good school, though. It was a good school for you. Well, elementary school was, was tough, though. No, the private school was okay. Yeah, but the guys touched my butt and I beat them up. <sighs> <laughs> I was a fighter. So that's pretty much it. I just want you guys to know that my mom is amazing and I love my mom and and she's always been there for me and uh, she was a single mom. And so being a sing single mother and in the industry was not easy, um, but seeing her do that and she's an amazing example of uh, just just the, the, the sheer power of a woman to have what she wants and not make any excuses as to not as to why she doesn't have it uh, raising me and then you know coming up the way i did and her oh my gosh amazing woman just amazing it was an amazing time it still is and now love shine is going viral mom really sony is looking into signing us okay so i wanted to get Sony, if you're listening, yeah, uh -oh. you better treat my baby right. Make sure you give her what she's supposed to have and that group because they're good. All right. <laughs> and that's from my mom. <laughs> well, you know, the, the music industry is not like it used to be. I know. So you, you have to, I tell people all the time they want to get into the music industry. And I tell them, look, the music industry is 99 and a half percent business mm -hmm. and the other is the talent that's why they call it the music business mm -hmm. there's two halves to it you know and one half rules the other you better know your business so when you go and sign up with, with these big companies with all these artists you better know what you're doing so yeah all right, guys. That's just some little advice it's for somebody that wants to get in the business. It's big advice. Yeah. And it's really not easy. Know the business. Know the business. Definitely. Know the business. I can't tell you that enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mom was on the road eight to nine months a year. Yeah. Gone. Um, I'm just happy I got the chance to go with her and see the world. I traveled the United States. Yeah, you was, you was, you were young. I don't well, remember any of that. You didn't know where you were half the time. I don't remember any Let of that. Let me tell you something. I didn't even know where I was half the time. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember any of that. I would stand on the stage and say, hi, Germany. And I was in Scotland. So. <laughs> Yo, somebody right on the front of the stage where we are every time we go out. Make a note of that. <laughs> yeah, make a note of where you are. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Hamburg, Germany. Great. On the yeah. front of the stage. That way we can see it. Yeah. Yeah, because it gets kind of confusing because I have no idea where I was. Well, a lot of times you would do shows and you would only be there for one night. Mm -hmm. And the next night you were in another country, country, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. or another city. Mm -hmm. You had to know exactly where you were. So you had to be careful with that. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, though. I, I don't take anything for it. I had a ball. I really did. All right, guys. Well, I've been sitting here with my mom, Evelyn Thomas, the singer of High Energy and so many other hits. Mom, you had Crossroads. What was it? My Heads in the Stars. I did. Uh, um, my Little Weak Spot was your first hit in the 70s, right? 76. 76. Yeah. Mom's first major hit was 1976, My Little Weak Spot. That was, that was amazing. Well... Was it's it not 70? called My Little Weak Spot. What is it it's called? It's called Weak Spot. Weak Spot. I Why call does it, it have little, to be My Little my Weak little Spot? My Little Weak Spot. No, I never said that. <laughs> I said My Weak Spot. I don't know where you got the little from. <laughs> anyway, that song surprised me. And um, we recorded it. And I sort of like kind of got the leftovers from a lot of songs that they were giving out because Ian Levine, who was my producer at the time, uh, discovered me in Chicago, Illinois with uh, Danny Lee and Paul Wilson. And <clears throat> uh, they were giving out these songs to sing and Weak Spot was left over, so to speak. 
And so they gave me Weak Spot. And I thought everybody else's songs were going to do great because I like their songs better than I like my own <laughs> song. And so I sung the song. I sung it as much. I did the best I could with it. And it just, boom, what went straight up the charts in London. And they called me over for a TV show. And they said, uh, we want you to come over and do a TV show. I said, what kind of TV show? Top of the Pops. And Top of the Pops was the biggest TV show you could ever do in London. And I said, are you kidding me? I said, well, what song am I going to be doing? Weak Spot. I said, that silly song? <laughs> <laughs> I was more shocked than, I, I was just shocked. Because it was one of those songs that, it was cute. It had like a little cute little hook to it. But it wasn't sassy like everybody else's songs was. You know, when you were in the United States in those days, they had some really nice sassy songs like, Turn off the lights, stuff like that, you know. Some real good wrenching songs, but my song was, It's my weak spot. Da -da -da. <laughs> I'm like, Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, anyway, I went, and uh, that was the first TV show I had ever done. And uh, Top of the Pops, and I did it with personalities like Andy Williams. And if you know anything about Andy Williams, I'm telling my age there. <laughs> Andy Williams and uh, the Glitter Band. I don't know mm -hmm. if you ever heard of the Glitter Band. They were real big over in England. And uh, we had a real orchestra. Mm. I think it must have been about, it had to be about 52 pieces in that orchestra, Kim. Wow. It was beautiful. And in those days, you had real musicians yeah. doing your music on stage. And it was just fabulous. I had a great time. So that was my first experience doing the... Uh, TV show. So that was Weak Spot. And then mm -hmm. I did some things with a uh, uh, Fat Back Band mm -hmm. called Spread Love. I wrote this song called Spread Love with uh, Jerry Thomas and uh, uh, Curtis. Um, what's this last name? Bill Curtis in uh, Fat Back Band <coughs> and uh, Spread Love. And that song was, is, was a great song. You did stuff with the Gap Band, right? No, I never did anything with the Gap no. Band. No. Mm -hmm. No. And uh, I did some things with Anton Wick, which mm -hmm. is still out right now. It's called That's It. Mm -hmm. uh, that was recent, not too too many years ago. Um, I'm still recording. I'm doing a little bit here, a little bit there. But basically, I am relaxing in Southwest Florida, honey, and I love it. She's hiding in Southwest Florida. I'm hiding. <laughs> <laughs> she's hiding. Periodically, I go over to Paris, and I do some shows over there. I do she TV didn't shows. take me. Yeah, I didn't take her. Because <laughs> she's too busy herself. No. no. Yes, you are. No, I could, I could get away <laughs> to Paris. Well, next time I go, I'll take you. I'll okay? Take to Paris. She's not going to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, guys, this is me and my mom. I love my mom. I love you too, sweetie. And she's amazing. And I just wanted to share you got share her with you, but you can't have her anymore. So we're gonna go, cause now it's my turn. Bye. I love you. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> love you. Bye.